Hello everyone. Welcome back to the HashiCorp Certified Terraform Associate Certification Catalyst Series. We are back with question 13. Okay, let's discuss the question. So Terraform has a standard way of doing thing. It is always best to follow the standard way and not deviate from it to make sure that you use the tool most efficiently. Very good. For example, one of the best practices of using Terraform is to run Terraform in it only twice. Once at the beginning of the project and once at the end. Multiple Terraform init calls in succession should be avoided since they can result in inconsistencies of your Terraform state file. Please share your views on the above statement. So basically this question is targeting your knowledge of the Terraform command in this case Terraform init. So anyhow I have convoluted this question and tried to make it a little bit more interesting but normally the questions in the actual exam will be pretty straightforward but there will be questions which will be specifically directed towards your knowledge of Terraform commands, be it init, plan, the state commands, taint, import, whatever. So be sure that you are very well prepared with what the commands do. So for example, in this case, you should be knowing what Terraform init does. And if you have used Terraform by yourself, whether for your own projects or in an enterprise environment, this is something that you should know very well. So first of all, the answer is yes, the above statement is completely correct. Terraform init should be run very carefully since every Terraform init run can, not, can adversely affect the state file if proper precautions are not taken. Okay, so this is incorrect. What I mentioned cannot, it, it, it should ideally be can. So, but so the answer is that A, the above statement is completely correct, but this is not the correct answer so the above statement is actually incorrect so terraform init is a command that you can run as many times as you want so there is no question of running it only once or twice or thrice or whatever or a number of times because first of all terraform init is an important operation so you can run it multiple times and also what it is right written here that it can affect your state file no terraform init does not affect your state file so number a is incorrect number b the ever statement is absolutely wrong. Terraform init has no dependency with state and can be run as many times and in whatever frequency as needed. It is an idempotent operation as such does not alter anything. Here anything means does not alter any state. Okay, and it can be run as many times as needed, which is the correct thing. So B is correct. It can be run as many times as it is needed. This is the actual answer. What is C? The above statement is only partially correct. Terraform init can indeed be run, but only a few times because there is no issue with state alteration. But because every time Terraform init will initialize the project, it will download all the plugins from the internet repository, regardless of whether they were present or not. And this increases the waiting time. So what it is saying is that Terraform init should run be run multiple times, not be run any number of times because not because of anything like state alteration, which is mentioned in the question, but because it is saying that every time you run Terraform init, the plugins and all of those things are downloaded. And even if they are present, it will again download, which is incorrect. So Terraform init, it is true that it initializes my environment, it downloads the plugins, it keeps all of them, keeps the module binary executables in my Terraform so that I can run my Terraform plan or my run my Terraform state and whatever other commands that come after this. But it does not download any plugins which is already downloaded. Okay, so it's not like that if the first time you are running Terraform minutes say it takes you five minutes to download all the plugins that you are using. The next time you run it will not take you five minutes. It might take you five seconds because once the plugin is downloaded Terraform minute knows because it maintains the state of the plugin. It knows that I don't need to download the plugin again. So the answer A and the answer C both are incorrect. So the and correct answer is B. The above statement is absolutely wrong. Terraform init has no dependency with state. It can be run as many times and in whatever frequency is not, not needed. It is an idempotent operation as such does not alter anything. So again, coming to this question, what you should understand is that this kind of questions will not come in this form or this manner or this language, but there will be questions which are focused on your knowledge of specific Terraform commands. So please, understand what a specific terraform command does as simple as that so let us go quickly to the documentation so see command in it it is used to initialize a working directory which contains terraform config files this is the first command which should be run after writing a new terraform config or cloning an existing one from version control because you need to initialize the environment note this document 
part it is safe to run this command multiple times safe okay secondly what it says is that the command is always safe to run multiple times to bring the working directory up to date with the changes in the configuration the subsequent runs might give errors it will never delete your existing configuration or state so there is no point that it will change your state or do something like that so you can run it as many times as you want okay so this is very important another part i will show you here okay so one second Rerunning in it with modules which are already installed will install the sources for any modules that were added to the configuration since the last in it but will not change any already installed modules meaning it is not going to again install or download all the modules which are already installed only modules where you have added those modules in your configuration since the last in it so the delta will be added now there are other ways also to do to bypass this and stuff like that and force again everything but normally by default rerunning in it will only install the modules which were added to the configuration since the last in it but it will not change any already installed modules so option c is also incorrect so please go over this entire documentation here you will see the terraform commands for example apply init fmt is very important import is important plan show refresh push taint okay validate so please go through this section so for now terraform minute i have i think you understand so terraform minute is the first command that anybody runs all of us we run terraform minute first okay even before doing anything and i run it after i add any module or any dependency or anything okay and it simply basically downloads all the plugins and sets up my uh, code basically my working directory so that i can go forward with the next steps it does not change my state does not alter my infrastructure nothing so it's very safe to run it multiple times okay so very good so okay so this is it this was fairly quick so please share your feedbacks in the comment section okay and let me know in case you need any other help from me